Hey guys, in this video I will compare BHIF and Substack. So basically we are going to answer the question which email marketing software is better for you. So I want you to know that there is no specific email marketing software better but it all comes down to your needs. So what do you need? Are you a content creator? Are you a big business that needs to send uh, dozens and dozens of emails daily? Um, just yeah, like compare it uh, with your needs. Or are you just writing um, once per week, a few times a week? It all comes down to your needs. What do you need and what affiliate marketing software um, fits uh, those needs? So um, I am going to give a conclusion. Maybe you have a different conclusion, but I am uh, uh, given, you know, I am uh, making a conclusion based on my needs as a content creator. So BF is the best for content focus newsletter and publications so if you are a content creator um, then bf is probably better so uh, also bf is a all-in-one solution for a website email data analytics and growth tools so it's not only for email marketing not only for sending emails but it's also for um, you know for uh, publishing blogs or yeah, posts on uh, your website so you get the ownership of your audience and custom aesthetic so you can be really decide what to what you want to do uh, with your audience and um, how you want your website to be public so you know how um, which colors with which design which layout that's really you can customize it really to your preferences also you have a lot of ownership um, you know of your audience so you can do a lot of things with them you can you know send them emails only websites only polls only to those audience to this audience only to that audience only to those specific people uh, yeah it's really cool also affordable flat rate uh, flat rate pricing that favors growing creators and companies so uh, which is really unique in the email marketing uh, niche or, or those you know, Behave is a company, email marketing company that um, uses flat rate pricing. So that's like you only pay an X amount per month. Um, uh, and f for example, Substack or um, other companies, like there you need to pay um, a per amount of subscribers. So if you have a thousand subscribers, you need to pay an X amount. If you have um, 1,500 subscribers, 1,800 subscribers, you need to pay another uh, uh, amount monthly so with behave you have just a flat rate pricing so it's really like um if you have that amount of subscribers you pay that if you have a lot more subscribers you need to pay that but uh, like it does not change based on the based uh, on 100 subscribers or 500 excess subscribers you know so also enterprise level solutions made simple and accessible for everyone so it's like really easy, simple uh, for everyone. Okay, now let's go to Substack. And now Substack is good for being part of an ecosystem for writers. So there are a lot of writers on Substack. It's like a big, um, a big medium for writers. There are a lot of great, good writers on Substack. Uh, and you are getting yeah, part of an ecosystem if you uh, join Substack. Also, the simplicity without the bells and the whistles. So basically, what I mean, it's like really, um, like you get what you see, um, uh, you know. So it's like really easy, you no know, flip flop, no. Uh, yeah, this is really straight to the point. You, you, you. Nah, like I said, you get you get what you see. So it's like really easy platform. Um, also, your content being accessible in their mobile app, so they have an app on the app store and play store um yeah you can download you can read you can uh, you know view all of your aesthetics which is really important or really nice actually not really important but it's really nice to have that um yeah th that that is an option because that's really what Substack sets them apart um between other um email marketing companies so they have a app which is really um minimalistic really nice yeah basically that now let's go to the side-by-side -side comparison. 
So um, first, the publication website, Behave and Substack both have them as all well the premium subscriptions. But at Behave, you keep 100% of your, re your revenue, revenue. So my, oh my God, I can't pronounce that word. And uh, with Substack, you lose 10%. So you do need to keep that in mind. So if you make $100 uh, with Behave, you get that full $100. And if you make $100 with Substack, you only get $90, so 90%. So custom domains, um, you both can get a custom domain with uh, premium subscriptions. Embeddable subscribe form, um, they are, are both available with BF as well as Substack. So if you have a website, for example, howtotool.com, and you want to place like a, a form, a subscribe form on your website with code, you know, it's very easy to do that this way by uh, copy and paste in the code on your own website and um, they both have that available so when a reader of your website your uh, own website um, uh, you know sees that uh, form and puts their email and their name in um, you know they will um, be a subscriber to your behalf or Substack account also user authentication and paywalling they both have that available so you can get premium content um, on both uh, behalf and Substack now let's go to the RSS feed. Um, both BF and Substack um, offer that option, as well as the, as well as the IPA access uh, and promotions and free trials. I do think the promote the free trial of BF is a bit better because you can um, reach a larger audience um, with the email options um, than Substack. But it's still great. Um, you know the the options of Substack are still very great. Now the integrated referral program only behave um, offers this um, option like really good integrated. Substack um, offers a referral program, but it's not really good. It's like really bit wanky. It's not that good. It's like with gifts, it doesn't work really good. So behave definitely, yeah, they have this and Substack, they, yeah, they actually do not have that. So one click audience polls. So if you have a poll between which uh, company is better, uh, Apple or Samsung, you can just make a poll with and behave. So like, um, yeah, like I said, Apple, Samsung, they, the, your readers of the email of the blog post can um, easily vote with a one click, one click audience polls. And you can see those analytics of the polls very easily. Uh, Substack do not, does not offer that option. Now the advanced uh, audience segmentation, um, yeah, if you like that, um, BF offers that, Substack does not. Uh, custom fields is quite important um, if you want like the website to be your own, your like your if you want to, the, the email to be very your own, if you want to add custom uh, own fields, uh, BF offers that. This one is really important, advanced analytics. So BHEF is really, really great when it comes to analytics. You can go to a specific subscriber of your BHEF um, newsletter. So you can tap on their name or their email and you can see literally what, when they opened the email, what, what link they clicked, uh, when they did that. Um, you can even ask them why they did that. And you can see their feedback, you can see their poll results. You can see literally everything. The analytics of BF are so great. It's also very simple to see. It's not like that. It's really complex. So advanced analytics, yes, BF wins that definitely. So um, of course, Substack uh, offers uh, analytics, but it's not advanced. It's just really basic. You can see how many subscribers and etc. But if you want to get like um, in-depth results, in-depth uh, a in-depth view of your analytics. Yeah, you need to go to BF. Also, custom HTML and emails. If you want that, um, you need to go to BF because BF offers uh, custom HTML and Substack does not. Real-time email verification. If this is important for you, for your company, um, you also need to use BF because they uh, offer real-time email verification. All right, now, now let's go to the predictable flat rate pricing. Like I said um, in the beginning, flat rate pricing is really important. Um, something which is very unique in the email marketing niche or software, you know, all those companies. 
they um, offer like a subscription based, um, like a kind of weird um, pricing model. It's really, really important, really, yeah, like they say, not predictable. And uh, the predictability of the, um, you know, of the of the uh, pricing model of BF is very predictable. You you, you know, you pay uh, for what you see. You know, if you have X amount of subscribers, you pay that. Um, if you want that, you pay an extra. You know, it's very predictable. You you don't um, yeah. You just pay what what you want to pay for. If that makes sense. <laughs> Now, recommendation network, um, we have offers that. Um, I don't think it's really important, but you know, it's nice that there is an option for that. Uh, Substack op- does not offer that option. A fully customized newsletter. So Substack, it's like really basic. It's not, yeah, I know uh, the, the Substack accounts of everyone look kind of the same, kind of the same. Now with B, if you can really customize it. You can really make it your own. You can change the color, the spacing, the fonts, the, um, you know, the, the line, uh, everything, stripe lines, uh, you know, bullet lines. It's like really, really great. You can be really creative with that. Uh, and I think that's a really great thing which Behave offers. Now let's go to the reviews or just some reviews of Jack, um, which started uh, writing on Substack over a year ago, but Brett first grew frustrated with the lack of tools and flexibility for the creators. From my uh, perspective, they were slow to ship meaningful updates that moved to the needle for writers. So like I said, there aren't really like um, a lot of uh, features, a lot of um, flexibility and not a lot of tools for the creator. Um, yeah, so uh, he moved to BF. Now on BF, I was able to build uh, a bespoke web and newsletter aesthetic, grow, grow a ton of re- or organically from the referral program, and discover valuable reader insights from the analytics and polls. And the team ships new features weekly. So what BF does, they, yeah, they um, announce new uh, features uh, like very often compared to Substack. They are kind of like relax more, just do only the important uh, things. And the analytics again, they are really advanced with BF. So you can like really see all of the insights from your subscribers. You can be really go in depth. Uh, also of the polls, of course. Uh, that's really important. And before making a move, I saw dozens of other newsletters I followed all migrating over to BF. I'm so confident that BF is the best place for young money. That's his newsletter to grow and flourish. So again, it's like um yeah people are moving from Substack to BF. So I definitely recommend you, um, you know, uh, moving to uh, BF too, if you have a Substack account or if you are, are using Substack right now, um, as, you, as Jack says, um, dozens of news, other newsletters are um, moving to uh, BF. So the conclusion, I think you already know what the conclusion is. So the winner of this ultimate battle is BF. <laughs> I think you already saw this coming, but still it's like nice that BF has won. If you want to get started with BF or Substack, if you want, if you still are uh, not convinced to use BF, you can start with Substack. Um, check out the link in the su- description or in a pinned comment. Uh, I have a link to um, yeah, BF on Substack. You can check it out if you like it. Um, yeah, uh, and you can get started. So if this video was helpful, um, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.